The GAA is a, an, an amazing yeah. thing. It's, it's, a, it's very different to the English Premiership and stuff like that. It's, first of all, it's amateur. And the game, the, the best game that we have is hurling. Hurling is kind of like, if you can imagine, 30 chimps <laughs> trying to play golf with the one ball. Uh, <laughs> There's a wild, savage madness to it. But there's beauty in it as well. I had the privilege last September at being at the All Ireland hurling final between Galway and Waterford. And there was an amazing moment in the second half of the match. The ball is on the ground. It's the size of an apple, a kind of a leathery apple. And he has a stick in him called a hurl. And he hits, this, hits the ball in such a way, he lifts it off the ground and spins through the air on a kind of an arc to score. It was incredible. I was talking to a blind man from Abbey Knock Moy, the far side of Clare Galway. <laughs> he was blind since day one and he'll be blind till he dies. And he told me that that sideline cut was that fucking miraculous <laughs> that he's seen it. So that's... <laughs> that's the level of artistry we're talking about. The score lines in the GAA are more like train timetables. Limerick 419, Cork 122. I had the misfortune a few days after the All Ireland hurling final to be watching an Irish Republic of Ireland soccer friendly against Georgia. We're always playing fucking Georgia. Every eight months, guess who? The fucking Georgians. Okay. It was a nil all draw. A nil all draw. What's the point in that? What's the point in playing a game where the score at the end is the same as if you'd never fucking played at all? <laughs> you'd never get two tennis players just staring at one another for an hour and a half and then go, well, call it quits, you're too hard to base, okay. <laughs> Other big difference, of course, is the amateur status. We're all big soccer fans in Ireland, you know? We grew up supporting English clubs. And maybe if we're lucky enough as adults, we get the money together and get to come over to Stamford Bridge, Old Trafford or Anfield and stand there and sing songs. Sing songs that millionaires in shorts from Peru and Afghanistan who couldn't give a fuck about you. <laughs> you go down to your local GAA pitch, they'd better give a fuck about you. <laughs> run, you fat bastard, run. Jesus Foley, look at the size of your hole. Run, you fat fuck! I know where you live, Foley! I know where you fucking live! Well, I'm his father, of course, I know where he lives. Run, you fuck, you! We are a country full of lunatics. 